It's a gorgeous, old-fashioned, sweet, generous play with lots of really, really gorgeous social observation. Do you like dancing? Oh, I do, Sonic, but we're very backward. I don't know all the new steps. Hey, you have to let me teach you. I wanted to, you know, show people how theatre worked. Show people that this is, these are the bits and pieces. We hoist up the set, we put the set pieces on for you. You see it all happening before we start. Not many towns in Ireland the size of Glencarrick have a Shakespeare Society. And we have a public reading once a year in the assembly rooms. Not in posthumous when you show them a, an actor who changes from one person to another person to another person in the, in the space of three seconds or less, uh, I think it really asks an audience to be very malleable, be very, very elastic in the, in the way they see things. A grand young fellow I saw at the chapel. Mrs. Moriarty's nephew's cousin, I believe he is. Clarence is his name. Isn't that a grand name? on behalf of the actors. Yeah. <laughs> they, they must be great. <laughs> Fair play. Like, really enjoyable to watch. I tell anybody just to come and see it and you will not be disappointed. It was just fantastic. Oh, I absolutely loved it. And when I heard at first that there only had four actors and it was ten places, I was like, I was very unsure of it at the start, but the transitions I only mean, added to it. It satisfies the audience who want a really sophisticated piece of new theatre and the old down-home crowd who loved old-fashioned barnstorming theatre. Really, really enjoyed the show. Great, great night out. Yeah. Uh, really refreshingly different and very, very unusual for Saigo and great fun. Because every character on stage is utterly recognisable from people we know. So, of course, we're half laughing at the performance, but we're actually laughing at ourselves. It's coming back in Mullingar, so I might just go to that one again. Thank <laughs> you.